I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Lineup was completed when Noel Edmonds arrived into the Australia jungle two days ago. With his arrival came a camp format change and saw him become the emperor whilst the other celebrities took on the roles of gladiators. Tonight, viewers tuned in to see Nick Knowles, Anne Hegarty and James McVay take on a mini challenge to win care packages for their campmates. After successfully securing 8 out of 11 parcels, Noel informed the camp of their success, and he alongside advisor Harry Reid Knapp had the opportunity to decide at which celebrities would be lucky enough to receive them. However those watching the scene at home were left furious when Noel read out he would be receiving a care package. They quickly took to Twitter to discuss and claimed it was unfair for the deal or no deal presented to have his parcel because of the short time he has been on the show. One said, Noel's PD me off giving himself a care package when he's been in for about five hours, got a hotel bed in the jungle, eaten every day and done no trials. Do one to make help. A third added, why is Noel getting a care package? He's been there five minutes in make help. This is seriously getting unfair. Noel goes in and gets a chair, a bed, food and his care package. He's only been there a couple of nights why does he need his? In make help, one Twitter user wrote. Whilst viewers were shown part of the discussion Noel and Harry had to decide who was going to receive their package. It was never clarified whether Noel chose himself to receive his care package or if it was the instructions of the IMA celebrity producers via the laminate. Nevertheless, his reign as the Emperor was short-lived as presenters Holly Willoughby and Declan Donnelly arrived into camp with news. At the end of tonight's installment, they revealed the public had not been voting for the next Bush Tucker trial. Instead, Noel and Harry would automatically be competing in it, and their time in authority was over. It comes after today's trial which saw Rita Simons, Malik Thompson Dwyer, Emily Attack and John Barrowman and the Ego head to head in down or out. Split into two teams, they had to unlock a series of chambers to shut off the water filling the tanks. However several of the keys were dummies and didn't work. It was a race against the water to find the correct ones and make sure the tank didn't overflow, thus winning the task. Unfortunately for John and Emily, their tank filled up the quickest which made Rita and Malik the direct winners.